Good afternoon. Radical new ways to turn rubbish into power are at the heart of a new £16 million research centre opening today. Scientists say they can turn almost any waste into fuel to generate electricity. And our science correspondent David Gregory Kumar is at the new laboratory in Birmingham today. David, how does this process work? Well, not far from here, actually, at the Tizi incinerator, they burn much of the city's waste the council do to generate power. This, though, is a process that's a step beyond that, something a bit cleverer, really. And to explain more is uh, Professor Robert Berry from Aston University. Professor, it's not burning energy uh, waste directly to produce energy, is it? No, it's not. What, what it does is it, it's a process called pyrolysis, and it takes a wide range of different types of waste material and produces three different types of outputs, um, oils, vapours and charcoal. And what's exciting about this is the charcoal sequesters the carbon. So this becomes basically a carbon negative process. And so uh, you've been trying this on a big scale here, but you're also doing experiments in India, aren't you? Yes, we are. We have a, um, uh, we've been looking at a really interesting problem in Punjab where rice straw and wheat straw, basically agricultural waste, is still being burnt in open fields across wide areas of the country. And while it's illegal, people still do it. So we've been looking at whether we can apply this technology to transform that waste into something that has value. And so we've been doing this for the last two months or so in a village in Punjab called Kwaspura. And we've been very successful. And we've been powering the local school and producing a, um, um, uh, an enhancement to diesel, which reduces the cost of that diesel and allows that to be used on the pumps that produce the water that feeds the whole rice um, agricultural business. Professor, thank you very much. Now, obviously, here at the university, uh, businesses right across the Midlands can come here to see whether their waste might be suitable for turning into energy, or if they might be able to produce uh, products and manufacture elements that might go into producing these systems on a larger scale. It's a very exciting new development. Back to you in the studio, Joanne. Certainly. Good evening. Radical new ways to turn rubbish into power are at the heart of a new research centre which opened today. Scientists at the £16 million centre at Aston University say they can turn almost any waste into fuel to generate electricity. Well, every year we create 177 million tonnes of waste in England and around 60% of that goes into landfill. So could this pioneering work eventually lead to savings on our energy bills? Our science correspondent David Gregory Kumar has the story. We already burn some of our rubbish to produce energy. This is the Tisley incinerator in Birmingham. But at this new lab at Aston University, they're pushing things much further, burning waste and rubbish at very high temperatures and turning them into oil. And the researchers say turning waste into this oil has big power generating potential. Birmingham is a more than one million inhabitant city and they are producing almost all the material we require as residue, as sewage sludge, residue from anaerobic digestion and food waste from, for example, wholesale markets to power the whole council in terms of heat and power. And this new £16 million laboratory will be powered by the oil produced by this process. So the big advantage is if you've got a waste product you think might be useful to generate energy, you can test it out in the lab here, and then if it all works out, you can bring it here and test it out on a proper full-size scale. But it works on a small scale too. In India, farmers burn straw to get rid of it. But a team from the new lab have spent the past two months showing straw can be turned into fuel, enough to power a village. And back home, all of this innovation provides opportunities for Midlands manufacturers. When you look at the technology we've developed, there are lots of advanced components within it, but there's also lots of more uh, everyday components, whether it's expansion bellows, compression joints, and it's a great opportunity for West Midland engineering and manufacturing companies to come along and see whether they could supply components and equipment for the bioenergy sector. Creating fuel from all sorts of waste is an idea that's about to break out of the lab and start generating power and jobs. And David is here now. So David, the big question, I guess, is would this bring our energy bills down? 
I think for you and me and people watching at home tonight, household energy bills, not just yet. I think the people who've been watching my report with interest is like a well-known cider maker, say, in Herefordshire. Now, they generate a lot of apple pulp and stuff once they've made the cider. Uh, and this will be another way for them to extract even more energy out of what is to them basically a waste product. So I think any big company with a lot of waste being generated as part of its sort of manufacturing process will be very interested in this idea. Now, you mentioned in your report that this could create jobs. How? Well, we already know it's helped to safeguard jobs. So we know of a defence contractor here in the Midlands who is looking to diversify, move away from depending just on defence, uh, and they've been working with the team at the lab at Aston University, who's helped them come up with ways to build these new plants, this new technology, and so that's helped safeguard the future of the firm, but also hopefully will allow them to expand. And if they have this £16 million nucleus at the centre of this bioenergy sector in the Midlands, then the hope is companies will grow up around it. Now we know uh, very well that each time there are plans for an incinerator to be built, that's really really strong local opposition. So how would this bioenergy centre get around that problem? Well, that's a fair point. And we saw Tisley at the start of my report. That's Birmingham's big incinerator. It's really on the edge of town. This is slap bang in the centre of the Aston University campus, getting towards the centre of Birmingham, right next to a very nice pub, to be honest. And they're pretty confident this process doesn't generate the kind of problems you get with big, large-scale incinerators. And I think putting it there, right in the centre of campus, is a vote of confidence in that mm, idea. Interesting stuff. David, thank you.